Hi everybody. Uh, so I'm back again after a little bit time of no preparing any food. So today I want to do some vegetarian food and it will be, as you already know, you know, most of you the chicken mushroom pie or something like this, but I want to do vegetable pie. So I will use basically just some, some carrots, fresh black uh, bell pepper, onions, I have some broccoli in water because it's frozen. I don't know if you can see, maybe here. So this and then we have uh, puff pastry. So, and for sauce, I will use just the, you know, seasoning and then uh, salt, salt, pepper. I just put the water a little bit on the top here. Uh, white yogurt, salt, pepper, and that's it. Basically very simple. But I will put on the top as well some mozzarella cheese, so it will be uh, nice, uh, juicy and everything, you know, so it will get the texture. So basically I use around four carrots and one and a half onion. I like when it's really onion there. I just love onion. And actually I forget to mention that I need some courgette as well because courgette is really lovely, has a lovely, lovely texture and it's really good on the inside. So So basically I use around four carrots. One and a half onion. I like when it's really onion there. I just love onion. And actually, forget to mention that I need some courgette as well because courgette is really lovely, has a lovely, lovely texture, and it's really good on the inside. So, so I chopped the the carrots and sem uh, the carrots and onion. I use normal oil, vegetable oil, but you can use olive oil, you can use sesame oil, you can use uh, any different, any kind of oil, this which actually suits you better, you know, some people like it, even the coconut oil, so you can use it, you know. I put, I will put some three garlic, globes of garlic, and as well I have here dried belly, gorgeous. Because here in Madeira we have everywhere bay leaves, so in the, even in the forest you can find, <coughs> I'm sorry, you can find actually the places where just trees with the bay leaves growing, so you can just go and uh, pick it up, you know, and people are using this, the specialty here, it's like a skewer of beef, but it's skewered on the trunk from the, from the bay leaf. So basically, you will get the taste and aromate inside, but you can use the vegetable instead of meat as well. So let's go. So 
Now we sweat it the uh, carrot, onion, bay leaf and garlic. Now I will prepare the courgette. It doesn't matter which, what size you will use it because anyway you will eat it so it has to be that way as you like it. There is a little bit oil and a little spoon. But this doesn't matter, you can get dirty when you cook it. Just be careful when you use the knife, you know. So when you just put it in. And the same, the pepper. I have to go to rescue my cat because I'm almost falling down of the window. And so I have two cats. And they are just getting crazy sometimes. Two cats and three kids. So now we are dicing the pepper. It doesn't matter which size, you know, like chunky like this. I don't know if you can see it. I use just half of the pepper. Because anyway, that's probably I only me will eat it. Kids like the bolognese. But you can find the recipe for the bolognese already there, so you can check my other videos. So now we will put on the add on the broccoli. You don't have to cut or slice the broccoli. I will just put it whole as it is, because during the cooking, or as you mix it, it will break apart, and so it's it's really fine the way as it is. So, but if you like it, go for it. Just do it. It will be nice and creamy. Okay. For the seasoning, I will use salt. Uh, black pepper. Just simple. If you have any herbs, thyme, rosemary, parsley, and cumin, grounded cumin, I love it. So, but you can use any any kind of herbs or seasoning. You know, if you like spicy, you can put some chilies, and you know, it's everything is up to you. So I rather do it like this, and then on the plate, I will finish it because sometimes. The kids can take it, uh, my wife, and they don't like spicy, so I can't put it in. So, so we will shortly add on the yogurt. The vegetable is crunchy. I don't want it when it's too soft. And then we will just transfer to the form, you know, baking tray, small one, just, just a few portion, and. That's it. And I put it on as well a little bit, little bit of butter, maybe the size, spoon, half spoon, just to get the taste nice and creamy. So. So <coughs> we have it in the form. There's some nice creamy sauce. And I will just tear it apart, you know, like small pieces. And one here. And just put it on the top. You can then mix it. And it will give nice. I go here because it doesn't. It will give nice 
uh, texture. So and now we mix it so that the cheese go inside as well, not only outside. Because when you will cut it through the pie, then you will get a cheese, you know, like. Maybe a little bit more salt. So when we put the pastry on the dough, you don't have to play with that much. If you don't want it, you can do the flowers and everything just is everything up to your creation right now for me it's like this because i'm i'm doing as well different things and just all over the egg and put it in the oven So now I brushed with the egg. If you have any spare egg, you can leave it, then you can do scramble egg or use for cake or for anything. And just put in the oven for, I prepared the oven on 180, I will say 20, 20 minutes, 25. You will see the color of the pastry and everything and uh, it depends, you know, every oven is different, so you have to do it as your oven is, you know, so good luck. And I will show you later how it looks like when you, when it's, when it's cooked. So the pie is ready. As wait a second, I don't know if you can see it, it's ready. So I have a look. Second, as you can see it, you can see the cheese, it's nice. Take some of the pie, pastry. Okay. Maybe need a little bit more salt. But it's perfect. We can serve it some salad. <coughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Thanks for watching me. Thanks for watching my channel. Subscribe to my channel because I will bring more future. And if you have any idea what you will cook or any vegetable that you would like to cook, just send me in, write it in comment and I can create some dish with this and I can cook it for you. So thank you very much. Bye guys.